Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminars, Session 4, Project Setup. This is part one, we're going to look at how to get some hand-drawn plans into Photoshop, get them sorted, ready for Revit. Okay, so here we have Photoshop. If you've never used it before, um, you might want to watch this. You might want to skip it if you know how to use it. Um, I'm going to bring in some plans from... Windows Explorer and I'm just going to drag and drop the first one onto the page. This is my overview just to explain what I'm doing. I've got a plan of a building that I'm going to put into Revit. I've got an elevation from two sides as well and a scale showing on my plan what 10 meters is which is going to be useful later. Let's close that off. So now you've seen what I've done there. I'll do one of the plans, drag and drop this on there's a few things you can do to prepare for putting them into Revit and um, one of them is to make sure the brightness is okay so you can do adjustments in image adjustments there's brightness you can brighten it up play with the contrast that's a nice easy little one I've just taken a photo with my phone and emailed it to myself um, if you got access to a scanner you can do that as well but uh, at this stage it doesn't have to be a brilliant quality image. Other than that, making sure it's square on to the page is quite useful at this point. Um, if I go to drop down view and show rulers, if I click and drag down I can just quickly check that my building is horizontal and vertical. So that's not too bad at all. Um, if I want to rotate it, if I go to image, image rotation, for this I would do arbitrary if I just want to tweak it a little bit or there's 180, 90 degrees counterclockwise, 90 degrees clockwise. So in arbitrary you might want to rotate it by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a degree you'll be surprised how much one degree rotates. I'll just show you. That does take it quite far. I'm just going to undo to take it back. Okay, so that one's fine. So go through your images and sort them out like that. Um, cropping them down if you want. You can use this, which is a selection tool, where I'm not going to crop it down too much. I'm going to make a selection and then go image crop and it reduces the size of the image down to that marquee. Control D on the keyboard deselects the marquee and I can save that off as a JPEG. Okay so it's pretty straightforward any of your plans, elevations, sections that you've hand drawn you can do this way. Save them in somewhere sensible and we'll move on to the next stage in the next video. Okay thank you.